Hello everybody. Today it is my second lecture of the module 8. In the module 8, we have introduced a two dimensional element in continuous system and in this regard we have studied the vibration of rectangular membrane. Now I will uh, teach you in this uh, module this vibration of circular membranes. Rectangular membrane is a special case where the all sides have a straight edge but there may be curved uh, membrane also especially for drum head you have seen the membranes are circular which is clamped to the drum shell. So let us investigate the vibration problem of such circular membranes. The equation of membrane that we have seen uh, in Cartesian coordinate we have derived it but we will study the vibration of circular membrane in polar coordinate. So therefore the Laplacian operator will change. Now in this lecture I wish to discuss the eigenvalue problem for circular membrane. Solution of eigenvalue problem will give the natural frequencies and mode shapes and these are important parameters for design of any structural component. Then I will uh, see that how approximation to the natural frequency can be done with some simplified expression that can be used for practical purpose and what is the limitation of such approximate expression. So that I will discuss and then I will show how the membrane behaves when it is excited in a particular mode that means what will be the mode shape of the membrane especially circular membrane where are the nodal uh, lines or whether it is nodal lines or nodal circles in case of this uh, geometry that we will study in detail ok. So let us uh, start with the circular membrane and we will uh, do this in polar coordinate. Polar coordinate system the coordinate of any point P is denoted by R and theta where if I see this is the x axis and this is y axis in Cartesian coordinate system then x is related to R and theta by this expression x r cos theta and uh, y is related to r sin theta. At any point p where the radial distance is r, you can find the corresponding Cartesian coordinate also. So if the radius of the circle is a, then equation of the circle in Cartesian system is x square plus y square equal to s square. However, in polar form, in polar form the equation of circle is simply r is equal to a. The equation of circle is simply r is equal to a. So here the domain of the membrane is r varying from 0 to a and it is symmetrical all around. It has a rotational axis of symmetry which is actually z axis perpendicular to the plane of the paper ok. Now if I see the differential equation of motion of the membrane we have seen under the influence of external force if there is any external force applied on the membrane then T is the uniform tension on the membrane is given by simply this equation. In Cartesian system we have seen this. plus q is equal to rho del square w del t square. So this equation pertains to the system of coordinate which is Cartesian x y coordinate system. But in circular uh, membrane we will study the solution in polar coordinate. So del square that is the Laplacian 
in polar coordinate will polar coordinate will take a special form and it is given by uh, del square by del r square plus 1 by r del by del r plus 1 by r square del square by del theta square and it is written here okay so this is the uh, laplacian in polar coordinates so if we study the deformation of the membrane or the deformation of membrane transverse to this plane then we will study at every point r theta what is the deformation but since this problem is axis symmetrical you will get the symmetrical condition but sometimes the asymmetrical mode also may be produced that will come across subsequently while we derive the equation ok. So now having known this this Laplacian operator in polar coordinate now we will substitute this here and T is the uniform tension that remains same as we have found in case of this uh, Cartesian system W is the deformation or transverse displacement of the membrane and W is actually a field variable which is a function of r theta and t. Similarly, Q is a field variable that is the external load if any it is also a function of r theta and t. Okay. Now let us see next the differential equation of the membrane in polar form now is written as T del square W del square I mean Laplacian operator del square W which uh, W is a function of R theta T plus Q R theta T this is the external load equal to rho del square W R theta T divided by del T square this is the inertial term or you can call it the inertial force per unit area now here rho is the mass density but mass density is expressed as mass per unit area so it is sometimes called as area density now let us investigate the free vibration case to extract the eigen frequencies and eigen functions so for free vibration we set q equal to 0 and we assume that free vibration is harmonic free vibration is always harmonic so the harmonic motion can be assumed as w r theta t a space function w r theta multiplied by a time function which is taken a harmonic function so e to the power i omega t e to the power i omega t when expanded it will give cos omega t plus i omega t so it essentially contains the harmonic terms so we can take this term to represent the harmonic uh, motion. Now after substituting this w r theta t equal to w r theta and e to the power i omega t in the equation of motion here differential equation of motion or here which is in the expanded form then we get this t del square w r theta plus rho omega square because after uh, two times differentiation this uh, right hand side here will be minus rho omega square w r theta so after two times differentiation the right hand side that of the equation of the equation will be i omega square then your w r theta and rho is already there so i omega square is minus omega square so rho omega square w r theta so this factor is coming or brought here and the full equation is written as t del square that is laplacian square w r theta plus rho omega square w r comma theta so omega is the natural frequency of the membrane natural frequency of the circular membrane okay
So, after knowing this, we can now again use the principle of separation of variables. So, we write the W capital W R theta equal to capital R into R phi of theta is a phi is a function which depends on theta. So, phi is only solely a function of theta and capital R is solely a function of small r. So, this we uh, use and substitute back in this equation. So, this is substituted in this equation. So, what is the result? Result we will get here del square r d square r. Now, it will be a uh, ordinary differential equation because when differentiated these are two independent functions. So, phi theta when differentiated with respect to r phi theta will be treated as a constant and when differentiated with respect to theta the r will be remaining constant. So, we get d square r divided by dr square plus 1 by r dr by dr. This r is capital R which is a function of small r and the common term that is the function phi theta. Then another term which contains this uh, phi differentiation of phi it becomes d square phi by d theta square and 1 by r square is there with uh, as a coefficient and here the capital R is added. So, plus beta square capital R as a function of small r phi as a function of theta equal to 0. So, we are getting this equation which is now a ordinary differential equation. Our intention is to find capital R and, cap, uh, and phi so that we can compose the uh, mode shape function say capital W R theta. So, that is our intention. Now, this equation will convert into two separate equation. Let us do it. So, now add m square by R square R phi and subtract the same quantity in the left hand side of the equation. So, I add this quantity and then I subtract the quantity. So, the equation is not changed. Therefore, after doing this we are getting now d square r by d r square plus 1 by r d r this is capital R divided by d r into phi plus r divided by r square d square phi by d theta square plus m square r divided by small r square phi theta minus m square r divided by r square phi theta. So, this term is added and again the same term is subtracted ok plus beta square r as a function of r phi as a function of theta. So, this equation we slightly manipulated after adding extra term and subtracting the same term. So, then we can rearrange this after rearranging it is found as d square r by d r square plus 1 by r d r by d r plus beta square minus m square by r square into r phi plus r by r square into d square phi by d theta square plus m square phi. Now, it is separated into two differential equations of different kinds, but you, you can see the order of differential equation remains 2. So, this is a second order differential equation. So, this equation uh, we now get two equation d square phi by d theta square plus m square phi equal to 0. So, this is one equation and another equation is d square r by dr square plus 1 by r dr by dr plus beta square minus m square by r square into r. So, this equation now can be converted into some special form and this equation we encountered in various occasion to study the free vibration of uh, this system single degree freedom system spring mass system and you know that this type of equation gives uh, oscillatory terms because of 
the roots of the characteristic equation becomes complex. So, as a result of this you will get periodicity in this equation, but about this equation we will see what the solution gives. Okay. Now, first equation we take now. So, d square phi by d theta square plus m square phi equal to 0. Now, m square is chosen positive. Here in the left hand side m square is a positive term because it will give now harmonic function. As a result of this the roots will be complex because if I substitute say solution if I assume phi is equal to e to the power gamma theta then what you get it? You will get this m square plus gamma square equal to 0. Okay. So, that give you the gamma is equal to plus minus i into m where i is a imaginary number not index i is imaginary number. So, therefore, the solution is very simple c 1 m sin m theta plus c 2 cos m theta because when we get a solution in this form say constant some constant uh, a 1 e to the power i m theta and another is e to a 2 e to the power minus i m theta then after expanding and rearranging the constant or renaming the constant we get phi of theta equal to c 1 m sin m theta plus c 2 m cos m theta. C 1 m and C 2 m are the constants of integration that has to be found out from boundary conditions. Now, further this is a very important statement the solution in a circular object must be continuous at any point that means at theta is equal to theta 0 it will be such that theta 0 plus 2 pi m is also equal to theta 0. So, it exhibits the periodicity. So, that is possible when m is integer. So, m is 0, 1, 2 and we have already declared that m is a positive integer. So, m must be uh, integer starting from 0, 1, 2 and because it will give periodicity to the solution. Okay. Take the second differential equation. Second differential equation can be written as d square r by dr square plus 1 by r dr by dr plus beta square minus m square by r square into r equal to 0. Now, this form of equation is a very well known equation in uh, physics and engineering and uh, it is used in various occasions uh, to solve many complicated problem. Now, here this equation is known as Bessel's equation and uh, Bessel's equation originally it is like that if I multiply this by r square it will becoming r square d square r by dr square plus r dr by dr plus beta r square minus m square into r equal to 0. So, this is a standard form of Bessel equation. So, Bessel equation uh, has the solution given by Bessel function. Uh, now, let us see what is the characteristics of Bessel equation. Bessel equation is a, a second order linear differential equation, but coefficients are not constant. So, coefficient here r square r etcetera and order of differential equation is m. That order does not mean that order of differentiation. The Bessel equation of order m, but the equation is second order linear differential equation. The solution of Bessel equation is expressed as Bessel function of first and second kind of mth order. So, here the m that appears, so I told that is the order. So, it is nothing by order of the function. So, when I express the Bessel solution, Bessel, solution of the Bessel equation in terms of two known functions which are known as uh, Bessel function of first and second kind, then we have this uh, the variable beta r. So, the solution is r r 
equal to C 3 m J m beta r plus C 4 m Y m beta r because the other two constants we have taken C 1 m and C 2 m. Now we take uh, this constant as C 3 m and C 4 m. Now see this J m beta r and Y m beta r the argument beta r is a function that is a mathematical function known as Bessel function. Now what is the characteristic of this function? That function is actually is a series, is a power series, infinite power series and it is convergent. So this type of function can be uh, represented by a oscillatory curve. In many occasion while uh, solving the problem of physics and engineering involving the oscillation, uh, this function can be used if the differential equation is of this type. So this equation is known as Bessel equation r square d square r by dr square plus r dr by dr plus beta r square minus m square into r where the order of the dif uh, differential equation is 2 that means highest order of differentiation is 2 but here the order is m that means the solution that will be given with a Bessel function that will be order m. So Bessel function j m beta r plus y m beta r are used to compose the solution r r equal to c 3 m j m beta r plus c 4 m y m beta r. Now let us see how j m beta r and y m beta r varies. J m beta r is a Bessel function of first kind, y m beta r is a Bessel function of second kind. Now the solution that we have obtained one contains this uh, periodic elements that is sin m theta cos m theta and another is in terms of Bessel function. So uh, let us uh, see the characteristic of Bessel function. We have told that Bessel function that uh, the RR is composed of C3m Jm beta r plus C 4 m y m beta r. So here in this x axis it is beta r and it is uh, this uh, the j m of any order is plotted. So first let us see this is the plot of Bessel function of first kind first kind of 0th order putting n is equal to 0 or here m so you are getting this oscillatory curve and the you can see this crosses so many times with the the x axis beta r axis so this will give the uh, zeros of the Bessel function of first kind and you can see this type of oscillation clearly indicates it is a resembles like a solution of the damp vibration and the wave is generally gradually damping damped out being damped out. Now let us see the Bessel functions of second kind. This is the graph of Bessel function of the second kind ymx is the Bessel function of the second kind. Okay. Now x is here beta r for our case which we want to extract. So you can see that second kind equation y not x of 0th order is plotted here and it is crossing the axis so many times. Okay. So these are the roots and uh, this is another say y4 it is crossing here similarly y1 is crossing here then uh, it is crossing like that you will find the crossing of this curve with the horizontal axis that is beta r axis and accordingly we can find the roots of the equation. So the solution will now composed of w r theta equal to capital R as a function of r phi as a function of theta. So 
phi theta we have obtained c 1 m sin m theta plus c 2 m cos m theta into c 3 m Bessel function of first kind of a method are j m argument beta r plus c 4 m is another constant and Bessel function of second order that is second kind Bessel function of second kind and Bessel function of first kind of argument beta r. So, you see two functions are added here now term by term multiplication will yield a function w r theta equal to a 1 m sin m theta j m beta r plus a 2 m cos m theta j m beta r plus a 3 m sin m theta y m beta r plus a 4 m cos m theta y m beta r. So, now let us see whether two Bessel functions are needed or not in this case. Now, if I see the plate uh, sorry the membrane which is circular and uh, it is clamped at edges boundary. So, this is the center. So, under uh, the free vibration when the mode is excited the each point will get the different uh, excitation synchronous excitation. So, center will have also the finite value of excitation, but you can see that when r is equal to 0 if I put r is equal to 0 the Bessel functions of second kind is blowing up that means it is shown here in the graph that all Bessel functions of second kind of any order has a discontinuity or a singularity at x is equal to 0. So, that means it has infinite value at x is equal to 0 which is not possible in that case. So, therefore, to keep the deflection of the membrane bounded at the center r is equal to 0, we should drop this term a 3 m and a 4 m. So, these two constants are taken 0 and therefore, we are getting this w r theta is simply j m beta r that is the common in both terms. So, we take j m beta r common into a 1 m sin m theta plus a 2 m cos m theta. So, this is the solution for the mode shape function you see this is the solution for the mode shape function, but still the constants of integration a 1 m and a 2 m remains to be evaluated. Let us see how we can evaluate it. Uh, the membrane is clamped at the periphery and you can see the we are now interested with the Bessel functions of first kind only Bessel function of first kind. See how the Bessel function of first kind will vary. It will have first zero crossing at 2.405, second zero crossing is 5.520, third zero crossing is 8.654 like that. Bessel function of first kind of first order we will have first crossing at 3.832, second crossing 7.016, third crossing 10.173 uh, like that and fourth crossing 13.323 and it will uh, like have many crossing infinite number of crossing. So, the roots of the Bessel function will provide the, uh, the frequency roots. Now, let us see how is the r is equal to a the membrane is fixed. So, at any theta irrespective of uh, any angular direction if I reach the boundary if I reach the boundary of this circle circular membrane which is clamped any theta the deflection is 0. So, a theta is obviously 0 because of this fixity. So, therefore, in this expression if you see in the earlier expression if you see that put uh, this r is equal to a and uh, r is equal to a you will have this this only this function j m beta r equal to 0.
So, hence we get the characteristic equation as Jm beta. So, the only solution that is possible because you see when you put r is equal to a this is a constant Jm beta into some other terms. So, to have this value to be 0 this term sin a1m sin m theta plus a2m cos m theta must be 0 because if jm beta is 0 then w is 0 that is it is a trivial solution. So, therefore, we should write this jm beta equal to 0 which will give you this uh, characteristic uh, value of the uh, roots. In other words say wr theta when it is written as a product of two function and at the boundary this wr theta goes to 0. So, boundary is beta a that means if this is 0 then you will not get a periodic solution for that, but I want a periodic solution therefore, we take this jm beta a to be 0. So, the roots that is the zeros of the Bessel function of first kind will now yield infinite number of roots. You can take Bessel function of first kind, zeroth order, first kind in any say depending on the m. So, therefore, the, the zero crossing will give you at a particular order the value of suppose here this value will give beta 0 1 this value will give beta 0 3 like that this value will give beta 1 2 this value will give beta 1 4 so like that you will, you are getting this and accordingly the natural frequency omega mn equal to c into beta mn so beta mn that is beta mn a that are found actually this is also multiplied by a a so this is found here and we are getting this natural frequency and c is the wave velocity which is nothing but root over t by rho so t is the tension in the membrane tension in the membrane and rho is the mass density mass density per unit area per unit area ok. So, the Bessel functions are now available in many computers inbuilt in MATLAB it has a inbuilt function Bessel function. So, you can uh, you need not compute it. So, the Bessel functions of first kind that is our solution require only one Bessel function that is Bessel function of first kind. So, Bessel function of first kind of order 0 to 5 has been shown here in a tabular form. So, when this uh, Bessel function this omega say 4 3. So, order is 4 ok and 3 here. So, we should select this root to find out this. So, omega 4 3 corresponds to this root. Similarly, you can uh, calculate for any other roots the corresponding natural frequency. So, let us illustrate the use of this table. How to use this table to find the natural frequency? Suppose the tension T and area density of the material rho are given. Then find out C which is T by rho. Suppose we require to determine omega 0 1, omega 1 1 and omega 4 3. Now for omega 0 1, you select this value, omega 0 1 will give the natural frequency with the help of this value. So, this value is written here 2.4048 c by a and unit is radian per second. Then we required omega 1 1. Omega 1 1 again this value. So, 3.8317 c by a radian per second. Omega 4 3 we required this value. Uh, omega 4 3 we required this. 14.3725 c by a. So, these are the natural frequencies in the corresponding mode number.
okay and corresponding order of the bessel function okay for each frequency omega n there are two modes except m is equal to 0 for which we obtain only one mode so therefore we can say that if m is not 0 the natural modes are degenerate for single frequency you will get two modes now mode shape function let us see the mode shape function the solution of the mode shape function is simply a 0 m j m beta not m into r for n is equal to 0 1 2 how it comes let us see this the expression for mode shape is 0 so if i want a mode which is w 0 or say w m 0 then uh, this nth order that is the 0 is here but instead of this let us assume that we require w 0 m so in that case this quantity when m is equal to 0 the sin m theta is equal to 0 so therefore you are getting uh, this m is 0 and this is n n varies from 1 to infinity will be equal to only j m beta r and some constant is there a 1 m a 2 m and cos 0 is 1 so therefore this constant is there but for any other mode when m is not 0 you will get once with sine term and another you will get with the cosine term so two modes are there for non-zero m so that is what is told here so if m is not zero then natural modes are degenerate so mode shape function for n is equal to 0 1 2 and for m is equal to 0 here you see w m 0 corresponds to frequency omega 0 n is equal to a 0 n Bessel function of mth order beta 0 n r but here the n will determine the roots of the Bessel function that if you have but you have to take the 0th order Bessel function so here we will take actually we can replace it by 0th order Bessel function because we fix m is 0 there so therefore the the first kind Bessel function will provide the roots of the order 0 and then you will get the 0 crossing of the curve and find the beta 0 n beta 0 n is the subscript into r different values of roots from that you find out the frequency and the mode shapes now you can see for any other mode when m is not 0 for m n varying from 1 to 3 we are segregating the mode into two types one is cosine mode so superscript c denotes the cosine mode so w m n r theta equal to a c m n c here c is not needed here we have given the superscript c so or of course here you can write the constant with three subscript denotes the constant for cosine mode similarly here the a superscript s and then we have this this sign mode this m n s j m beta m n r sin m theta so two modes are segregated one in cosine terms and another is sine term so therefore uh, for uh, two modes are there except m is equal to zero an orthogonality of the mode is also applicable here so if i integrate wmn r theta into wrs r theta and domain of the circular membrane is for theta is 0 to 2 pi and for r it is 0 to a so i integrated in the domain 0 to a and 0 to 2 pi and then the value is 0 if m is not r and n is not s so this proved that orthogonality condition is also valid in this case of circular membrane okay now sometimes it is necessary to determine the 
approximate value of the roots because the basal functions it is a special function and uh, may not be familiar to many engineers who have not studied the higher mathematics. So therefore, uh, this some approximation of this basal function is carried out and this approximate expression is limited only for large value of n. So, omega m n approximately because it is coming from the limit of the Bessel function when the argument of the Bessel function goes to infinity at a very large distance. So, in that case the value is root 2 by pi z cos z minus 2 m plus 1 by 4 pi. Then we find that approximately omega m n can be written as m by 2 plus n minus 1 by 4 this factor multiplied by c into pi divided by a because for roots actually roots we are getting beta into a. So, beta into a is some number that means beta is equal to this number by a. So, therefore, this denominator a is coming and c is the wave velocity in the membrane and c into pi. So, omega m n approximately equal to m by 2 plus n minus 1 by 4 c pi by a, but it is valid for large n. Now, let us see how true is this approximation. Now, say m is equal to 0, n is equal to 1. So, approximate value of this when we put n is equal to 0, m is equal to 1 then we are getting this 0.75 c by a but exact value from this uh, table let us see the exact value 0 1 is 2.4048 so 2.4048 c by a is the exact value but approximate value is 0 0.75 c a so percentage error becomes 68.81 very high percentage so for small n that expression just now we have given for approximate natural frequency is not correct for the lower modes. Now let us take m is equal to 0 and n is equal to 3. Now in this case you can see this table m is equal to 0 m is equal to 3 that factor is uh, this root is 8.6537 okay. So, the exact value is 8.6537 c by a, but from this expression if I put n is equal to 3 and m is equal to 0, we will get approximate expression a value is 8.6094 c by a. Now, you can see the difference is reducing. So, error becomes 0 0.165 percent. If you go higher modes, say n is equal to 5 and m is equal to 0. Then from the table we get this m0 and n5 this 14.9309. Okay. So, here this 14.9309 is the exact value and uh, approximately it is calculated using the expression as 14.9225 c by a where c is the wave velocity. So, therefore, in this case the error still reduces so error becomes 0 0.056 percent okay so this is the use of uh, the approximate expression where you need not use this bessel function but this gives significant errors in the lower modes now let us uh, see the shape of the eigen functions so when eigen functions are plotted that expression we have found out the wmn r theta. Now, here m is taken 0 and n is 1, 2, 3. So, 3 mode shape are plotted say w the mode shape here it is w 0 1, this is w 0 2 and this is w 0 3. Corresponds to frequency omega 0 1 it is 2.4048 c by a omega 0 2 corresponds to frequency 5.5201 c by a and m is equal to 0, n is equal to 3 corresponds to natural frequency omega 0 3 8.6537 c by a. You can see this shape of this mode. Now, here special feature is this 
this m is equal to 0 always causes symmetrical mode shape function produces symmetrical mode shape function so the, all the modes are symmetrical functions so here special feature is this in case of two dimensional uh, vibration you will not get the nodal points you will get the nodal lines but in case of circular objects like that mem membrane what is presented here you will get nodal circle so you will get nodal circle instead of nodal lines but in addition to nodal circle you will get several nodal line may also appear but nodal lines here is a circle at r is equal to r1 and straight diameter lines so nodal lines will pass through the center now here for m is equal to 0 there is no diametrical nodes and there are n minus 1 circular nodes so let us see for n is equal to 1 there is 0 circular nodes so no concentric circle is seen but when n is equal to 2 you are seeing that one concentric circle of dashed line is seen here that is the nodal circle and it appears when n is equal to 2 so only one nodal circle is possible for n is equal to 3 we are getting we are expected to get two nodal circles two nodal circles and uh, no diametrical uh, nodes as i have told uh, given here so we are getting two nodal circle here and one is this that is represented by dashed line okay let us uh, plot the mode shape function of this for m is equal to 1 this is for w11 and this is w12 now here we will see the unsymmetry of the modes so unsymmetry of the modes is there and uh, for m is equal to 1 there is just one diametrical node you will see only one diametrical node that is seen here and n minus 1 circular nodes but it is n is 1 so no circular nodes are seen but here if you come uh, n is equal to 2 m is equal to 1 so one diametrical nodal lines that is shown here and one circular node that is represented by dashed line is seen here so in general when WMN has M equally spaced diametrical nodes and N minus 1 circular nodes boundary is excluded we can determine the location of the circular node in the mode shape with the expression that is given here RK that is the location of this circular node that you are finding is RK will be given by beta mk divided by beta mn into a so in that case so here uh, for 2 the circular node that you are getting say only one node you will get and here you will get beta and it is k beta m is 1 and k is also 1 and uh, beta mn so here 1 2 okay into a a is the radius of the circle so you can locate this distance from here as rk so that is the use of this expression rk is equal to beta mk m is 1 here and k is only one circular node is there so k is 1 and beta mn m is 1 n is equal to 2 so it is beta 1 to a and that uh, this value beta 1 1 a and beta 1 to a are known from the table or graphs so let us summarize today's lecture in this lecture we have discussed the vibration of circular membrane clamped at the boundary it is shown that boundary value problem is reduced to two types of differential equation one for angular coordinate and another for radial coordinate the latter form is Bessel differential equation that is I introduced 
I introduce an, uh, the Bessel differential equation may not be familiar to all because this is a special type of differential equation but it is also a simple differential equation because it is a second order li linear differential equation. So Bessel differential equation of order m where m is an integer but this order does not indicate this order of differentiation. The solution of Bessel equation is obtained in terms of Bessel function of first kind jmx and second kind ymx. Since Bessel function ymx has singularity at x is equal to 0, we have only Bessel function of first kind for physical region. So therefore, the solution will be obtained only with the Bessel function of first kind. Bessel function of first kind that is available in MATLAB in any other computer program. The inbuilt code is there for the Bessel function. So natural frequencies are calculated using tables of Bessel function of first kind. Approximation of natural frequency was discussed which gives correct value or reasonable value close to the correct value for large values of n. Mode shapes are plotted and characteristics of mode shapes and the nodal lines or nodal circles has been discussed. Thank you very much. Thank you.